up. It's a little cold out, so. Yep. The goal of this video is to introduce the Truck Norris Hemi camshaft to the world. We did a release on uh, Monday as well, but this is your personal truck? Yes, sir. Yep. Okay. Had it for a little over a year, completely stock other than a Mopar intake and a carbon uh, muffler, basically. Stock exhaust or the muffler? Stock exhaust. So we, we decided to test this particular one because it does have the six speed. Uh, it's 2012, but about 75,000 miles. So the six speed converter was a little bit more questionable if it would work uh, with the Hemi truck Norris. We know the eight speed's a little more loose and uh, you know, it should work just fine. So we decided to test the six, the six speed first and it worked out great. You know, it drives nice. It doesn't really push against the converter at all. You have to hold light pressure to keep it from rolling forward, which I kind of feel how they are factory. You know, has a good, good quality sound to it. The muffler I would definitely suggest. Uh, other than that, it drives just like I did before. And you did the cam swap yourself? Yep, did it myself okay. in my garage over the weekend. You know, we want to test everything. We don't want to just say, hey, yeah, it should work just fine on the paper. We wanted to make sure. And uh, okay. so that was that was what we decided to do. Now, other than the camshaft, just the camshaft alone, there are additional parts you need to do this cam swap? There are. So we did the MD MDS delete, all Mopar gaskets, Mopar lifters. Uh, we did our uh, Trumpers Hemi cam, our SK-017 uh, spring kit. And what was what was kind of funny um, when we pulled this thing down, like I said, it does have 75,000 miles, but we saw some valve tip wear. So what we did, uh, we created a valve tip saver, uh, which we, basically is a lash cap cut down to kind of fit the Hemi. So you don't have to change the valves, rockers, and so um, you know, so that worked out great. Uh, we that does require a 30,000 shorter push rod, which we did. Uh, we do offer on the website. So when you go to our selection there, there's the cam selection and spring kits. If you have a low mileage vehicle probably just do the normal spring kit. Uh, if you do have something with higher mileage, it wouldn't be bad to go ahead and do the get to the tip saver. It'll work out just fine. Just remember, you're gonna need those shorter push rods as well. And then basically after that, bolt, unbolt it, bolt it all together, get some tuning, and you got a great, cool sounding truck. Without further ado, why don't we hear a cold start out of this thing? Now it has idled from that parking spot to here, so it's not exactly cold, but, yeah, but, no, but it, is brisk out here. it is a little brisk outside. <laughs> test but how much brake pressure do you really need uh, very, very, little. very little okay once you take off let's hear this cam as it rides away into the sunrise oh. 